point of tonight's video in a second, and it really has some disheartening information in it. But before I do, I've been focusing so much more on the diagnosis and treatment of this disease, so I do want everyone to know there is incredible news. This Abbott medical test that can detest now within five minutes, we're gonna have a positive result. In worst case, 15 minutes to wait on result. This is groundbreaking. They're, they're, they're delivering 50,000 of these tests a day, I think is starting last Monday. That's huge news. And we also may finally have a treatment. Again, we can't say for sure, we can't say cure, but the more information coming out, it turns out this Plaquenil hydroxychloroquine, along with the azithromycin, along with maybe zinc, it's really groundbreaking. I think this is huge. So you're talking about a diagnosis and a treatment, so I want everyone to take heart and have hope. Now, with all that good news, I do want to say now this. For all the comments out there, the people that were telling me to stay in my lane, in fact, the reporters that have called me and said that I, I have no business, I'm stirring up problems because I'm asking questions and that I needed to stay in my lane. Thank you for the encouragement from everyone out there because I'm going to tell you what, I'm glad that I didn't because I've got some more information tonight. You know, we already knew that it was very weird that this Virology Research Institute, as you saw in a previous video, was only 20 miles away from the Wuhan seafood market where this accidentally came out. 20 miles in this mammoth country. We already knew that the scientists who had found it, the research scientists, and came and said to the Chinese National Health Commission, they said, man, this, is, this was January 3rd. We've got a problem. This is bad. This is worse than SARS or MERS. It's going to spread fast. They said, you have a gag order. Keep your mouth shut. In fact, destroy the samples. Now, why would they do that? Destroy the samples. We already knew who's now a hero, Dr. Lee. He was a healthy 33-year-old young man, a doctor. And he was supposed to only have about a 1% death rate, remember? How come a, a guy that's only got a 1 in 100 chance of dying died? And he was also silenced. Why did all these things happen? Okay, we could have had weeks in advance, the world could have. Well, I've done a little more digging. It turns out that China has its own CDC. In fact, in that CDC, they specifically research with bats collecting tons of virus samples. In fact, over 2,000 virus samples, and yep, you got it, including the coronaviruses. So I looked, where exactly is this located? You got it, between this Wuhan market and where they're actually collecting virus samples, including the coronavirus, it's three miles away. Now you tell me that's a coincidence. Three miles. So I'm not saying that China released this on purpose. That would be horrible. But the bare minimum, I think they had a spill. I think it got out. And I think they wanted to destroy any evidence of this. They don't allow anyone in. They don't allow the press in. They're not allowing people to come and research. Why? I think we're now finally finding out the answer. If this is true, China has a lot of questions to answer and they should pay for this outbreak. We just learned what a joke, the number of cases that they're reporting, where of course the whole world is reporting if you have a positive case, it's positive. China is saying, oh, oh, sorry, we've only been reporting the people that are positive and showing symptoms. Well, we already know a lot of people don't show symptoms with this virus, so they've not been reporting the right numbers from the beginning. Again, they're only reporting people that are positive and showing symptoms. That's worthless. In fact, they've said that only in Wuhan, there've only been 3,500 deaths. Go ask the people of Wuhan, the little bit of information that has leaked out said that thousands of urns are being delivered and made on the daily. If that's the case, that doesn't really add up with the 3,500 death toll, does it? If that's not bad enough, we're actually learning that China is using this as an off opportunity to profit. They raise the prices like crazy on vents in the middle of a shortage. How about this for bad? Spain spent half of a billion dollars on these coronavirus tests. And where did they have to order them from? You got it, China. However, when they got there, they only had a 30% sensitivity, meaning they could only detect a virus 30% of the time. In other words, they were junk. So they had to return it. Half a billion people are dying, emergency crisis, and now they wasted their time and their money. What a shame. China should be giving these tests away for free. They should be making vents as fast. They should be helping. In fact, they are trying to go around the world and now look like heroes and have a positive spin on this. I'm going to tell you this. If they want to prove that this isn't true and they are doing the best they can, it was just a simple mistake. 
then they ought to be doing everything they can to let anyone come and investigate. Research the facilities. Let us learn some more. What can we do? What have we learned already? They're not. They don't want any reporters in to prove any of this wrong. So at this point, I don't believe anymore that this was an accident. I believe it, it, at a bare minimum, it got out and they've tried to hide it. I'm not saying that they released it on purpose, but that it got out and now they're trying to hide it. If this is the case, when it's all said and done, the world needs to make the Chinese government pay. This isn't about the people. We love the people of all cultures, all races. This is about a government. And if they knew they did this, they made this horrible, horrible mistake, even if it was by accident, they didn't tell us, they tried to hide it, and now we're suffering for it. I think every citizen in the world, when it's all said and done, if, if this is true, ought to be able to sue the Chinese government. Now, we ought to be focused on the positive. There's so many good things happening. So I want everyone to sleep much better knowing that we are having better treatments, and we certainly have these tests coming in, which are incredible, thanks to the ingenuity of brilliant, brilliant scientists, and to all of our first responders out there, and everyone that's trying to make this world still go around, and they're putting themselves at risk. But when this is all said and done, if they are responsible, they better get ready to pay.